Well, here's a garage you haven't seen in a while. So today we are obviously looking at, um, well, the LiftMaster 8165 and the LiftMaster 1245LM. So uh, I got a bit of an update on these um, for once. Uh, I actually just got done uh, lubing the gears inside of both of these machines. Um, basically just some maintenance. I took off the cases of each of these. I lubed the worm gear and the ring uh, flywheel looking gear on both of these machines. I uh, loosened the chain slightly on the 8165. It was a little bit too tight. Um, the 1245 chain might also be slightly looser. I loosened it up, but I tightened it back up just because it was kind of sagging. So yeah, um, and I also, I decreased the down travel on both of these by just a little bit, uh, just so it's right above the header. These were kind of coming up to about right here. So, um, yeah, these are, uh, these are pretty well maintenanced. Uh, this one was having a weird trolley rattling issue, but for some reason or another, lubing the gears apparently makes this trolley not rattle as much. So we're going to run both of these. Uh, we'll start with the 8165. And the, the opener is not grinding as much anymore. It still does a little, but way less. So here we go. You can hear it still grinds a little bit, but uh, there's nothing I can really do about it. Uh, we'll go ahead and close that one back down. These openers were kind of known for grinding a little bit. Um, if I were to do this again, I probably wouldn't have gotten this opener, but uh, oh well, it does run pretty good. So uh, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and run the 1245. Um, did lube the gears on that one as well. And this thing is unbelievably quiet. Probably doesn't even really rattle on this one at all. Um, this one, the chain could be a slight bit too tight. Um, not really an issue for tonight. Um, it is dark and storming outside. So let's go ahead and close that back down. I don't know what that glare is. The little glare of the light bulb in the garage kind of glares on the screen over here. So I don't know what that is, but these things are running really well. Uh, I didn't do anything to the doors. The, the doors are just fine. Uh, there's still a good bit of grease on here from whenever I greased these last. Uh, I think it was like last summer. Um, these are pretty well maintained. I uh, probably could have this trolley go back a slight bit more, but uh, again, not an issue for tonight. Not even really an issue at all. It's pretty much fine there. Um, let's give these one more run, and then that'll be pretty much be it. We'll get a close-up here, and we'll start with the 1245 this time. Here we go. Yeah, and I love this opener a lot. Um... Again, unfortunately, these doors are not balanced, but uh, maybe someday we'll rip out those horrible torque masters. But uh, <laughs> probably not going to happen uh, until the doors get replaced, which also probably would be nice since these are showing their age and also they're pretty cheap, crappy doors. But let's go ahead and run up the 8165 again. grind like that but uh i put a lot of lube on this thing um i showed the uh the discord server and they know <laughs> how much grease i put on this opener um let's give each of these a sensor check just because we're here and i have not uploaded a video of these openers in a while the sensors work very well on both of these units 
So yeah, um, again, love the way this opener looks. It looks really nice. Um, we'll do a sensor check on the 1245. Works good. Another thing I just now kind of realized, I kind of knew this already, but uh, these LiftMaster cases are not the most friendly to get on and off. Um, that one was a little more annoying just because it kind of has those sleeves. This one was a little easier, but uh, yeah, Genie screwdriver cases, um, you remove two bolts and you literally just pull the thing off. Uh, this one you kind of have to finagle a little bit uh, to get the thing off, but um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and run these down one more time and that'll be it. Start with the 8165. And the chain is pretty much perfectly tensioned on this thing right now. Uh, it does sag a little bit right now just because the door is closed and it's putting pressure on the trolley, but uh, it is quite a bit looser than it was. The chain on this thing was really freaking tight. So I loosened it up quite a bit. Um, yeah, don't want that sprocket to break off. And we'll close down the 1245 and that'll be it. And this one makes kind of a weird clicking noise. You can kind of hear, you know, you're going tick, tick, as it's running. Um, I don't know what that is, but, uh, you know, it's not really a big deal, I don't think. Um, I would have liked to kind of lube the bearings on the sprocket, but unfortunately this garage just doesn't have the headroom. Um, this is maybe, I mean, at max, it's an eight foot garage because this door frame is like seven feet tall. Yeah, there might be a foot of room. And yeah, these doors are also seven feet. And there's at max a foot above. This garage might be like a seven feet, nine inch garage. So yeah, I just didn't really have the headroom. But anyway, these openers do sound pretty good now. And uh, it's been a while since, you know, I've made a video of these. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, eventually I will be doing another update on my opener, even though nothing has changed. And I'm, you know, been realizing that I haven't made a video in that opener in like six months. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sure by now you're probably tired of listening to my annoying voice. So uh, with that in mind, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.